everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and tonight I'm going to talk about risk. Just lecture a little bit tonight about risk because I've had the business now for about six years so I've talked to a lot of people that are interested in trading or people that are trading in that six years and before that when I started out in 2008 when I first found out about trading I talked to a lot of people that were very much like me when I started out 10 years ago that were interested in the market or wanted to trade and meeting all these people and talking to all these people and doing this as long as I have, I really find it very interesting how many people train the market but are not willing to take risk. The best advice that I can give you in, in reference to this topic is that you must be willing to take risk if you want to do well in the market. And on top of that, if you have dreams that you want to accomplish in life, you must be willing to take risk to create those dreams and make them a reality. If you're not willing to take risk, you're going to be very stuck in your life, whether it's, even if you're not trading, even if it's something else, your career, your business, whatever you're doing. If you don't have the mindset that you are willing to take risk, to move forward, to make something bigger or better of your life and create and manifest your dreams, you're going to find challenges. You're going to have a hard time, particularly when obstacles arise. And everyone that is out there trying to get ahead, whether it's trading the market, whether it's at your job, whether you work for a company or whether you have your own business, whatever you're trying to do, everyone has competition. When you're out there taking a trade, you're competing against other people that want money in that stock too, that are on the opposite side of the trade. For example, sometimes we short a stock and other people are trying to buy it and then it pushes back up and rallies. There's an opposite side to every trade. So there's competition there. People fighting for the money that's in the market. Very similar if you have a job where you're fighting for promotion if you work for a corporation or something like that. If you have goals and if you have dreams, and I don't, these don't have to be huge, enormous, enormous dreams. Just everyday goals that you have. You have to be willing to take risk. And for me, I've always been someone that has been willing to take risk. I don't know if I was born this way. I probably was. Maybe I became this way as I as I grew into an adult. Uh, but you know, it's interesting that when I when I first first started out, I I didn't know what I was doing at all. And this was very early on. It was actually it was the beginning of two thousand nine, and I met up with a group of traders, and they were trying to get me to trade in their group, and they said they thought it was going to be really good. And I said, well, the head guy said that. And I said, well, how do you know I'm going to be any good? And this was really so early on. I didn't figure out my strategy then. I really hadn't figured everything out. I really didn't know what I was doing at that point. And I was in the process of figuring out learning. And he said, well, I can tell you're going to be good, Melissa, because you know, you're, you're tough and you're willing to take risk. And you've just got that, that, that quality. And so, and he had been in the business for over 20 years, a long, long time. So if you want to be successful trading, you know, you really got to be willing to take risks. But I think you got to be willing to take risks if you want to make something of your life. The, your dreams and goals don't have to be so enormous. They, they are, it could just be normal dreams and goals that you're still going to have obstacles to achieve. I will tell you one thing, though. When you put challenges in front of yourself to move forward, to get ahead, you will be amazed at your willingness to be able to meet the challenges and overcome the difficulties. You think you can't. You think you won't be able to, but you, but you will. You will be able to. A lot of people have an issue when they're trading how much risk should they take or where to put the stock or uh, you know, how, what their sizing should be. Should people pay for a class? My class costs $5,500 right now. And so there's an investment for that. Maybe you've taken other classes that have cost other amounts of money. People, people take risk when they decide to trade. People take risk when they decide to invest in a course like mine, not knowing the information before they actually take the class. All of these things, though, are a pathway to get you where you want to be, and it also helps your mindset to do that. And you'll find that if you're willing to take the risk to move forward and learn something, you, the universe will support you. The universe will support you on your path to do it. When you're not willing to take risk, you're really saying to the universe, I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for this to happen. I'm scared. 
I don't want to take risks. So it's about the message that you're sending out to the universe and to other people when you're when you're in that mindset where you're afraid, afraid to take risk, afraid to take trades, afraid to learn something new, afraid to get out of a rut. If you're trading right now something that isn't working, afraid to just throw whatever system or strategy you're using aside and say, I've had it, I'm done with this, it's not working enough. I'm gonna move on. This thing I'm losing money, I'm gonna do something else. You know, all of these things, you have to put the right message out into the universe to say, I'm willing for something great to come into my life. I'm going to take the risk to make it happen. And I'm going to meet the challenges so that I can move forward and move ahead. And it's going to be easier than I thought. And the universe will find ways to support you with that. Even something like my class, it's amazing. I've had people that have taken my class that literally scraped together everything that they had to open up a trading account and take the class or some people that took the money they had to take the class and start out with a demo and not even have the money for a trading account and then they opened it later they wanted it so badly those people that are willing to do anything it takes to learn to do it to make it the people that are willing to take risks, the message that those people, when you're in that mindset, send to the universe is that they want it to happen. They want it really badly. And from experience with the things that I've done in my life and that I'm doing even now, I know that this is true. You must be willing to take risks to get ahead. You must be willing to take risks if you want to do well in the market trading. And you can't be afraid. If we all waited till everything was lined up just perfectly for every single thing we want to do, then how would we ever move forward in life? Life doesn't work like that. I, I wish that everything happened immediately. You know, I'm a very impatient person myself. Everybody wants everything to happen right away. But once you start on the path and you're willing to overcome all the challenges and obstacles and you're willing to just move forward and not worry, not worry about the future. It has to do with getting out of the fear, moving out of the fear, and also telling the universe that you're ready for something big to happen, that you know that you can do it. You'll find that you will, you will be more, you will, you will surprise yourself. That's the best way that I can describe it. When I've seen people do it, okay? When I've seen people take risks, you, I, I've been amazed. People that you think couldn't do it, that decide to do it, really end up being able to do it. Once they make up their mind that they want to and that they don't want to let anything stop them. And I think too many people make excuses for not being successful trading. And the universe then can't take those people seriously, will not support what they do, and the market smells that. The market smells fear. It's it's like when you go into a trade, I say 100% conviction. It's like the market can smell it almost if you don't have the conviction. And if you do and you go after it, you can you can make it happen. You've got to believe in yourself. You got to be able to take risks. You got to be able to do anything it takes to make it happen and you have to follow your dreams whatever they are whether it's trading whether it's quitting your job and becoming a full-time trader uh, whether it's investing long term whether it's getting a new job or promotion or something that you want to do to better your life you have to be willing to take risks you will be you will surprise yourself once you're willing to throw yourself into the fire and move forward and do something not knowing the exact outcome because you never will even times when you think you will be able to predict the outcome of something that has an exact path along the way, it will, it will never work out the way that you think anyway. Something always will happen along the way. So you just got to decide what you want. You've got to be willing to go for it. You can't be in fear making decisions and you must believe in yourself and don't be scared and be willing to take chances in life to create your own dreams. If you want to be a trader, if you want to trade the market, you have to be willing to take risks. This doesn't mean an enormous amount of risk. But risk is part of trading and it's part of being successful. And once you put it out there that you're ready to move forward and do it, I'm telling you, the market and the universe will support you along the way in your process. And I'm here to do that for the people that come and want to learn from me as well. So think about the things I said tonight. Have a great night, everyone. And if you have any questions, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com.